Today's Picmonic will go over the most common causes of low back pain, shown here by the great giant trying to catch some rest as he sleeps above the ocean below. Low back pain, represented here by the low back pain bolts, can be broken down into two categories, acute or chronic back pain. Acute back pain may result from psoas syndrome or somatic dysfunctions of the lumbosacral spine. In psoas syndrome, represented by the sewn ass, patients develop low back pain as a result of psoas muscle shortening from prolonged sitting. These patients may develop type 2 somatic dysfunctions at L1 and L2, with side bending in rotation towards the hypertonic psoas muscle. Generally speaking, somatic dysfunctions of the lumbosacral spine will elicit low back pain. Our sumo tick will help you remember the lumbar mechanics on test day. L5 always rotates opposite to the sacrum and will side bend towards the side of a sacral axis. Now, we will go over some of the most common causes of chronic back pain. Spinal stenosis, shown as the spine of stone, is the narrowing of the spinal canal typically seen from degenerative changes like facet joint hypertrophy. Next up are the three sisters conjuring up the fate of the island. The first sister is spiny low cis. She represents spondylosis, or arthritis of the spine. Patients will have intervertebral disc space narrowing, arthritic changes within facet joints, and ankylosing, or stiffening, of adjacent vertebral bodies. Up next is sister spiny la la cis, representing spondylolysis. This is caused from a defect or fracture of the pars interarticularis within the vertebral spine. These patients will show the famous Scotty dog sign on oblique X-ray imaging. Our last sister, spiny low cyst thesis, represents spondylolus thesis. This is when the fracture is so severe that the vertebral body slips forward from the spinal column. Don't forget this diagnosis is visualized with lateral imaging, unlike her sister, spiny la la cis. Another cause of low back pain is iliolumbar ligament syndrome, represented by the lumbar trees growing on the island. In this syndrome, patients develop unilateral back pain around the posterior iliac crest after sustaining soft tissue injury to the iliolumbar ligament. Because this ligament attaches to L4 and L5, chronic vertebral instability and aggravation to this ligament may even result in a lumbar herniation. A lumbar herniation often results from narrowing of the posterior longitudinal ligament. This ligament runs vertically, anterior to the spinal canal, and posterior to the vertebral bodies. As it runs inferiorly towards the sacrum, it narrows and provides less support to the lower lumbar segments. Therefore, a posterior lateral herniation is more likely as you move inferiorly. Do not forget cauda equina syndrome on test day as shown here by the cod horsetail. Cauda equina syndrome is a serious condition that can be caused by massive disc herniations or space-occupying lesions that compress the cauda equina and surrounding nerve roots. These patients will develop severe, sharp, electric-like back pain. As the syndrome progresses, they may even develop decreased deep tendon reflexes, saddle anesthesia, decreased rectal sphincter tone, and ultimately, loss of bowel and bladder function. This is an emergency that needs to be decompressed as soon as possible, or it will result in irreversible neurological damage to the patient. In summary, low back pain can result from numerous causes, acute or chronic. Acute causes include psoas syndrome and somatic dysfunctions of the lumbosacral spine. Chronic causes include spinal stenosis, spondylosis, spondylolysis, spondylolis thesis, iliolumbar ligament syndrome, and lumbar herniations. Lastly, don't forget cauda equina syndrome, as this is a serious neurological emergency that requires immediate decompression to prevent irreversible damage to the patients. A great giant sleeps dormant in the ocean, its body forming an island among the waves. However, this island's low back is beset by pain bolts that portend the ill fate befalling the land as it is decimated for its natural resources. A sewn ass carries his share of plundered goods. Behind him, he drags a sumo tick who is dysfunctioning under the weight of the lumber sack on his spine. They both gathered their fill in a short time and are now departing. However, others remain far longer and continue destroying the land. 
The spine of Stone Tunnel narrows as it descends into the mines. Below, three sisters weave the terrible fate of this island. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our presentations, Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from Greenman's dirty half dozen of back pain, low back pain, and so much more. So you can lock down everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.